Hey everyone, so in this video we are looking at the MIDI interface, the MIDI functionality for Video Ninja. There was a question on Reddit regarding a more advanced setup use case, so I'll cover how to do that here. This person wants to have a second computer and they want to send MIDI commands to a director hosting a Video Ninja room and they want to be able to control that director's room via the MIDI interface remotely. Uh, so this is technically possible on production. Um, I gave it a shot and it's kind of complicated. Virtual MIDI cables and routing is a hard concept. Uh, so it, it's pretty confusing. So I simplified how to do it and I'll show you uh, the new features and tools on how to do that. Uh, so f to get started, I just want to mention that we have uh, documentation on docs.video.ninja. You can type in MIDI in the search bar and you can get to some MIDI information. Um, so there's a few different commands. We have MIDI and MIDI equals one, two, three, whatever. Uh, these define hotkeys. So if we type in MIDI equals one into our URL, as a parameter, uh, when I press the A3 button on, let's say, a MIDI keyboard, it will toggle my microphone's mute. If I add MIDI 4 to my URL, anytime I issue a command using the MIDI's control change command system, I can target uh, myself using command 110, or if I'm a director, I can issue commands that target guests in the room, so 110 plus n, where n is the guest's position in the room. So guest 1 would be command 111, and if I wanted to perform an action on that guest, there is different values. So if I wanted to add guest 1 to scene 1, I could issue a command to 111 with the value of 1, and as long as I have MIDI equals 4 set in the director's room URL parameter, it will add that guest to room one, to scene one. So that's the first half of the request. The second request was remote MIDI transfer, and that's also possible. There's a MIDI transfer mode where we can use the flag MIDI in and MIDI out to stream and pipe raw MIDI data from one computer to another. Uh, if you have a piano or if you have some sort of MIDI interface, you can stream MIDI data at high speeds, very low latency, from one computer to another. So we have the two pieces, and at the moment for this to work, you'd have to stream MIDI data from one computer to the other. You need a virtual MIDI device on the receiving computer. You need to then loop it around back into Video Ninja and feed it back into the hotkey uh, MIDI functionality. A lot, lot of moving parts, kind of, kind of complicated. Um, and the MIDI interface, although it's here, isn't really used heavily. So it's not as polished as it, as it probably could be. Uh, to solve all that, I made this page and I added a new URL parameter to streamline things for remote control. Um, so for this to work, we're gonna probably want a virtual audio cable virtual MIDI cable, and we can download one here. Uh, there's options available for Mac as well. This is for PC. And if we open that application up, this is what it looks like. It's called Loop MIDI. And the idea here is anything we send this virtual MIDI device, it will spit it back out as a, um, essentially a second MIDI device that's an output. So it's a loopback cable. Uh, doc link to the documentations here if you wanted that. Next, we need to select our MIDI device. So we have an option here. It will list the ID index, index 1, index 2. We want to select loop MIDI, uh, which is ID 2. And now, instead of needing a virtual keyboard, we have all these buttons available. And these buttons align with what's here. So you can reference this information to understand what's going on here. 
So if we have URL MIDI equals one, uh, these buttons will work. And so that's referenced here. So if I press A3, it's gonna send a command to loop MIDI port two. And as long as I have MIDI equals one set on my uh, Video Ninja invite page, it will work. Now, in reference to this person's question, uh, we're gonna be using MIDI four because MIDI four is more for directors. It allows us to target a guest. Um, I have a set for guest one and a set for guest two. So this is command 111 and this is command 112. If you wanted to download this code and modify this page, you can create your own custom remote control dashboard, just leveraging the code, um, right? So like all the codes here, it's very simple. You can come in and just create your own buttons and your own commands and your own labels. So this is kind of a prototype. And to get you started on links, I have a link set here. Uh, there's two links. Now, the new parameter added is called MIDI remote. And what this does is it replaces the MIDI input and the MIDI hotkey command, and it combines the two into one. So I say MIDI remote equals four, which then gives us access to these MIDI equals four commands. Um, instead of taking commands from the local MIDI device though, it takes commands from the remote MIDI device. So if you're connected to anyone uh, and they have MIDI out set, they can issue commands to the director because the director has this flag added. There's in the second link here, we can paste in. And now this joins as that remote uh, MIDI control command issuance. Okay, now this could be hidden as an iframe in a web page. You could embed this, for example, into this page. So it's hidden. Uh, what we have here is we have it's a label, MIDI controller. So when it joins the room, it's listed as MIDI controller. Uh, we have it set to auto start, so you don't need to press anything. It automatically joins. So you can add this as an iframe, as I mentioned, uh, to this page. And so it will auto load on the page load. It automatically generates a stream ID. Um, we have audio device equals to zero. So that disables our microphone and camera. BD uh, equals zero is our camera. Then MIDI out equals two. When, when we go here, you'll see that it's MIDI two. When I go here and I change it, it changes from to MIDI out one. So this code auto updates these links based on which MIDI device you're outputting to. It means this page is outputting, um, well, it's capturing commands from MIDI device equals two. And then we have the room name here. Uh, we can change the room name if we wanted to, just change it and change it here. Uh, so let's now invite myself in as a guest. Camera, camera is always screw up. There we go. Um, so I joined as a guest now, and that would be guest slot two. And we can open it. Take, take the scene. We'll put a scene link here. So this is scene one. Uh, you can change this to be scene whatever you want, and. I, th I think I support up to scene eight as a hotkey on beta. So what we can do here is, remember we have director, guest one, guest two. Uh, and if we refer to the documentation, value one will let us be, will let us add a guest to scene one. So I can go to the MIDI control page and I can say, uh, let's add guest two to scene one, which is value one. 
and we see that it was added there and it was added to the scene one. I can then go back here, I can toggle it. I'm removed from the scene and it's updated there. If I want to add guest one, I can press this and you can see that we have now added the mini controller to the scene, but since there's no video or audio, it doesn't do anything. Um, so that's kind of neat. So this allows us to remotely control um, the director's room. The beta has some you know, other things like um, remote display. Um, you know, the director can remotely mute you. You can toggle that. So that's kind of neat, right? Um, so you can download this page and modify it. You can reference these links to help you get started. And uh, yeah, that is how we remotely control the director's room using the MIDI functionality. So that, that, that new command is MIDI remote. It's on beta, video ninja slash beta. It will be part of the version 19 release. We're currently on version 18.3, I think, in production. So it'll be a few weeks until it's probably released uh, on production, but you can still get started on beta. Okay, guys, I hope that helps explain um, the, the capabilities of Video Ninja and the MIDI controller. You don't need OC, OSC or OCS, um, Open Sound Control to remotely control. Um, and unlike uh, OSC, there's no server needed. There's no fancy stuff needed. You can do this all peer to peer. Um, cool. Okay. Hopefully that was helpful. And if you need help, join me on Discord, discord.video.ninja. Report bugs, report requests. If you need more hotkeys added, anything like that, happy to add them to beta. And then, and eventually that will be on production. Cool. Thanks, guys.